We all know the story of A Christmas Carol, the famous story by Charles Dickens about Ebenezer Scrooge and what happened to him the night before Christmas. And not only is this a very famous story about Christmas and that takes place on Christmas, not only that, it is also a story that is completely steeped in Christian values and Christian beliefs. And I would like to explain why this is the case, why this feel-good story about Christmas is such a clear illustration of what Christianity often stands for. You see, if we revisit the story in question, Ebenezer Scrooge, a miserable old so-and-so, sets out to make the lives of those around him miserable and especially on Christmas Eve and coming up to Christmas he is torturing his poor employees and making their Christmas a misery setting about ruining their Christmas really and he is completely selfish and self-absorbed and so on and as he goes to bed on Christmas Eve, he is visited by three ghosts. And you know the story. It's the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas future. Where the Christianity of this story comes into the picture is how these visitations affect Ebenezer Scrooge. You see, the ghosts of Christmas past and Christmas present certainly do nothing to make him feel comfortable and happy with himself, not at all, but ultimately neither of these visitations are truly able to effect a change in this man's attitude. The one thing that does ultimately effect a change in this man's attitude is when he is visited by the ghost of Christmas future and he sees what is actually likely to happen to him in the future and that is when he suddenly comes to the realization that he needs to get his act together and that is the part that I think is so indicative of Christian values and Christian beliefs because it is clear from this particular illustration by Charles Dickens that the thing that is motivating Ebenezer Scrooge ultimately is self-interest. He does turn into a great benefactor and a philanthropist and so on and so forth and he is celebrated by the people around him at the end of the story but the reason why he's doing it is to avoid his fate, the fate that was illustrated to him by the ghost of Christmas future. He has started realizing that it is not in his own interest to behave the way he does. So ultimately, all his goodwill, all his philanthropy, and so on and so forth, is motivated by self-interest and nothing more. He's trying to save himself. And that is the core message of Christianity. The core message of Christianity is that the ultimate goal of existence is this thing called salvation. And when it comes to salvation, as far as Christians are concerned, it is every man or woman for themselves. Everybody else can go to hell. And you need to do whatever you need to do in order to affect this salvation. This is your ultimate goal. And if that means that you have to be nice to people, then so be it. Anything that will get you into those pearly gates. Ultimately, this is pure and unadulterated selfishness, dressed up as goodwill, dressed up as philanthropy, dressed up as being nice to other people. 
it is the motivation that really counts here. It is the reason why these Christians feel that they need to do these things. It is not out of empathy. It is not out of understanding the suffering of the fellow human beings. It is out of self-interest. And that makes you pause, doesn't it? Because ultimately, in the Christian worldview, and again, this is perfectly illustrated in this lovely tale, human beings are wretched, sinful, despicable creatures. And nothing can change that. Is that the sort of worldview that you really want to adopt for yourself? I don't think so.